What's going on guys, Victor here. For the longest time, you guys have been asking, do more shark videos, do more land-based shark videos, do some big game stuff. Well, no catch, clean, cook today. I brought a bunch of big baits with me. I got some frozen bonito. I got my Avid 80. I got my Lucky Shark Rod, which you guys have seen us catch a ton of big sharks on the channel. Huge tigers, huge hammerheads, and that's actually what I grew up doing is shark fishing off the beach. The other day, my buddy Alec told me that he saw a bunch of bull sharks at the inlet. So right now I'm waiting for the tide to switch, for it to be outgoing. I got my other bottom rod right here with a simple bottom rig. I got a frozen, well, a thought out piece of pogey right here, a little leader. I'm gonna cast it out on bottom. And right here at the mouth of the inlet or at any inlet, you can catch jacks, ladyfish, bluefish, tarp, and all sorts of stuff. What I'm looking for is a big jack to swim out and put out live on this thing. So if I don't get a live jack to swim out, I got the Benitez back up. So let's cast out a bait and see what we can do. Black tip jumped right there. I'm literally walking up the jetty right now, about to cast my bait out, and I saw a black tip or a spinner shark jump right there. So you know they're here. Bust that pokey chunk out second hit I got you got to think we got an outgoing tide right now so you toss out a chunk or live bait that scent is just being carried out there and fish love inlets and jetties you know if there's a lot of bait around jetties and inlets so fish feed on those tides on the outgoing tide on the incoming tide and that's what I was waiting for because if we want to catch a big shark you do not want to do it on the incoming tide and get dragged into the inlet. You want it to go out and land it on the beach. Right, right there. there. Ah, see, that's what we wanted. This is the ultimate shark bait right there. We got the Avid 80, we got the shark rod. Now, this is what we're gonna do. You guys heard me say that we're gonna swim it out. It's exactly what I'm gonna do. Not even gonna unhook them. This is what we used to do back in the pier. When you don't kayak out a bait or you have no means of getting your bait out, you can't cast it out far, you hook your jack or your bait right here, just like that. And when he feels that resistance from the back of him, he's gonna swim out. You got some fresh bait Bye. for a bit. Come here, Vic. Oh. Hey, yo. Stop it. That's a bright one. Are you blinded? Yeah. The first one didn't do too hot for us. You holding them, right? Yeah. Ah, right there. There you go. And feet. Oh, he's, oh, he's oh, gone. He's zooming. Is he zooming? Oh, yeah. Like a sardine? Yeah. Throw hook? Wow. We got success. The first one I accidentally dropped on his head into the rock. That's an idea. We got the outgoing time. I'm just going to let him swim out as far as I can. And I want him out there in like 15 feet of water at the mouth of the inlet where all the sharks are. So you guys are always asking me if I have merch. I do not have merch yet, but check this out. These are Babe shirts. These are Brooks lobster shirts. Check this out. We got the triple threat lobster in the back right there. Very cool custom artwork done. Um, and I'm gonna have those shirts linked for you guys. I don't have merch, but you guys can support Brooke and by supporting Brooke, you're supporting this channel as well. This jack has been out, he's just, he's dead. He's gotta be, he's probably sliced in half right now. Shark's gonna come back for it. Sharks have commitment issues sometimes. Oh, he's back, he's back. Uh-huh. And can I just point out that we're like 50 feet from the beach? That's what we wanna hear. Bring back memories, Brooke. So I'm gonna let this shark really eat it for like 30, 35 seconds. Angry. 
I think it's the black tip. Yeah, it's definitely the black tip. We saw like three black tip spinner sharks or four spinner sharks cruising the jetty, and I think that's what it is. Big bull shark or something would pull a lot more line. See, when we used to do this, we did it on the beach in a harness or in the sand where you could put the rod between your legs. Did we get on the jetty? Not as fun. Hey. You feel like you're gonna fly off. I think it's fun. This it's is Adam's a, roots right here. Yeah, it's a little bit challenging. Vic's like a beach pier guy, I'm a jetty guy. Just how it oh, is. oh, just jumped. I don't know if he came off. All right, tell us what you got going oh, I'm on. I'm so much more confident when you get off that jetty. So we just dragged him out to the side. He did not want to go on the beach. He just kept going out the inlet or in the inlet. But I got him on the inside now. This is the old school way right here. This is original land shark. This is 2010 land shark. Bro, a shark bit him. Yes, you can put the rod in the sand. Here, I'll yeah. pull him up more. Look at that's, shark that's, that, that's mating scars right now. No, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's mating scars. What about you, guys, you guys see all these bite marks on them? You think that that's a shark getting eaten? That's how sharks procreate. Sharks latch on to each other. It's actually pretty badass. You'll see like big, big female bull sharks. The males, they'll latch on to them. Sharks this time of year, like in the spring and summer, they'll have all sorts of gashes on them. You guys see that? I think it's a, a cool thing to know. Everybody thinks that sharks are so fragile. This is nature at its finest, baby, right there. They latch on to each other. We all know how you feel about sharks. I love, I'm a big shark guy. <laughs> hey, you freaking. There you go. Nice. Good job, Vic. Thanks. Nice work, brother. Oh. oh. Nice work, brother. Good job, Vic. Hey, if you guys don't know who this is, my good good buddy, Adam, moving weight. Thanks. I'm gonna have his channel link below as well as on the screen here. Appreciate that. You guys always see, he's not that much taller than me. Right now I'm on yeah, a hill. Yeah, whoa, I, Look, I, I was this? looking down at it. This? I was like this. This is a little yeah, bit this better. this is better. But yeah, seriously, check out his channel. Check out Brooke's channel. These guys help me out a lot. And uh, that was shark number one. Adam said I got smoked, so it's his turn. Brooke, what do you, I mean, what do you think? I was surprised to see how small it was. Yeah, me too. It came on the beach and I was like... Throwing the key away. Alright, alright. Let's go. Let's, let's see. do it. Let's do it. Jack on now. This time it's Adam's turn. Third jack. No! Alright, you ready Adam? Jesus. You ready? This is a lot of crowded. But these are Jack Crevel. Nice little 3-4 pounder. Very good shark baits. Super red bloody meat. And they're always pretty plentiful around the inlets. Kind of cool looking fish too. They got that big yellow anal fin right there. got Adam on this time. Same thing in the current. It's gonna go out there Gosh. about a hundred feet. Let him chill. Rod's become shark heavy. food. Yeah. This rod's too heavy for me. Victor's moving weight. Yeah, I'm not moving weight. Oh, oh That's my god. Weight. All right, I'm gonna let him choke it. I'm gonna let him choke it. Dude, I'm with backlash so bad. He smoked it. They wanted a freshie. Yeah, you spoke to him good. I was I was whispering to him softly. Ooh. That, that can't be a black tip. That, sure. Has to be. Hey, hit him with the sauce. Real, just real tight. Just circle him. Oh my god. Oh, pull, 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 pull. pull. I hope it. he didn't. I hope he didn't rip the bait. It sounded like he did. Yeah, it did. He didn't. He didn't have a choke. He was holding on to it. Maybe he cut you. He might have been wrapped around you. I'm a spinner too. Yeah, how's that working out? You got a big one. That, that might not be a black tip. That's not. Uh, oh, no. You really have no one. Uh, oh, my God. 
Frankie oh, walked down here and I go, you, you catching a shark with that? He's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Enough line on there. That's not what you want. I want to invest in an 8,000. Dude, you literally got school. Yeah, I got Completely. Totally I filled that thing so much. Another jack. And uh, he just ran off with it for about 10 seconds and then dropped it. He should come back for it. It felt like a, a smaller shark. That last one, dude, that's the one we're looking for. We'll get him now. Get him. All right, bud. Woo! Came back for the straps like 15 minutes later. Should I turn it off quicker? No, leave it on. I like the clicker. <laughs> a little bit of music. <laughs> so loud. Music here. I want to try to let him eat. I don't know, dude. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Stick him, stick him. I want to slowly get into it. Oh, yeah, I got him. Slowly? Oh, he's on. He yeah, I wanted, I wanted a circle. Ooh. I wanted a circle hook him, Vic. Hey, that's not a black tip, is it? I don't know. Is he on? Yeah, I got him. That's a bull shark, dude. That's a bull shark. Absolutely. Uh, is it? Oh, yeah. Isn't it? I got it. I just... Yeah, dude, that's a bull shark. Your black tip never pulled drag. No! That's a bigger shark, much bigger. Tell me if you need me to uh, I'm good. Hold. I'm good. Dude, that's what I should have done. That looks comfortable. It is actually pretty decent. <sighs> we're let the, yeah, my shark did not pull anything. We're going to let the girls go get some water real quick for us. We need a little bit of men's talk. <laughs> so, Adam got hit, like, smoke and run right before this you guys heard it and we just let that bait sit there for five minutes a lot of times i don't know what it is i think the wire or they feel the hook or they feel the tension in the line it'll spook them you let it sit there either another shark will come by or that same one but it always pays to leave your bait out there for a little bit longer i think i'm gonna go to the beach now is he swimming towards the beach um i'm gonna pull him this way what in the nantucket are you doing i just want to i don't want to have to fight him off the jetty you gotta fight him off the jetty just like I did. Run for it. He's pulling, Jack. Oh, he just pulled. No. Yeah. What? Man, we can't catch a break. I mean, I don't think my drag. I shouldn't have to lose my drag for a shark, right? No, absolutely not. He just head shook and pulled. Unless he broke it. That's not your hook. That yeah, is. That's not our hook. That's his hook. No way. That's his line you just reeled into the river. I had a different shark though, right? How's my mono breaking? He Should bit he it. Should on the jetty? No, he bit it, dude. That's a bite, no? I don't know, some tomfoolery going on there. Maybe that boat cut, no. That boat wasn't there yet. That, no, he cut it. That's not a jetty break. As you guys see, we're a little rusty on the shark game, but we will be back. We're gonna catch some big sharks this summer. I wanna change it up for you guys. Don't want the content to be too repetitive, but Brooke and I have a lot of big plans and a lot of big travel plans this summer. But since I have you guys' attention, I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about this thing right here. Florida lobster mini seasons coming up, opening day in July. These are the nets that you guys always see Brooke and I use. These are handmade by Brookie. I help her with the finish right here. But as you guys see, it's 9 30, 10 o'clock at night. We're making nets right now. Brooke has these for sale on a website called floridalobsternets.com. And if you guys are looking for a lobster net this season, for mini season, the best net on the market. And recently, Brookie came out with her own shirt. Really cool artwork. You got the Florida Lobster Co sign in the front with a little dive flag real comfortable shirts and then check this out tell me you've never seen a lobster tail design like that i think it's a really original and cool design you got the triple threat lobster tail and these shirts are on sale on the website i'm going to have it linked below for you guys as well as on the screen here as always thank you guys so much for watching the only reason we're able to make videos like this is because of you guys so thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.